throughout these videos I need to keep your eye out for Tiny Turtle He's our new mascot Here we are folks, the Alpine Adventure Starring Cyril the CRF, Kate the KTM and Harvey the Van Bam I'm getting used to my uh, super duper nobbly tyres and the shit on road as usual But to keep my mind occupied, look at that view See the, uh, that montagna Indeed, what a lovely day for a stroll in the park this place is stunning, absolutely stunning. Little Jen following, Big Steve following, and we're heading up these mountains. I'm going to pull up for his first little photo shoot next to this ski cabin. This is good! Weather was miserable yesterday. Oh, I mean like a pea soup fog. Heavy rain. Just what you'd expect in Alps. So changeable. So we had to run out in transit van. Da -da! Oh, oh. Oh. I'm scared. Fucking hell, my legs are like jelly. You can't beat a bit of windscreen wiper and eater when you're uh, in Alps and it's pissing it down, let me tell you. Experienced it on road bikes many times and it's fucking horrible when it's like that. So yeah, it was nice to be able to do that, so we had to Col de la Ziran, which for those who don't know, is the highest paved road in Europe. And that were surprisingly clear, fog lifted, freezing cold wind, snow still laying about. Got a tarmac turtle sticker out, he's, he's now proudly displayed on the uh, monument at the top. Sheep shagger, he's pinching the sheep, stuff it up it! Nothing like a little bit of sheep loving. First day here, we got settled into this unbelievable hotel. And here we are in ski territory! Got your little ski lifts and what have you at the ready. More hairpin bends than you can shake a stick at. Well, I wide shake a stick at an hairpin bend. I don't know. Logs, John, watch them! <laughs> Bit of dramatic scenery with some nice cloud. It's fucking lovely. If you've never been to the Alps on your bike, even if you don't want to ride this distance, get a van. Something tells me it'll be wonderful! Chuck it in, bike. Bring it down here, get a base. I mean, this hotel we're in, we're 209 euro for three people, five nights. Cheap, and we're not cheap. So it's not expensive. But it's great, because, you know, you don't know what's around every bend. You go around a bend and bang, there's a scenery. It takes your breath away. We uh, finally got to go up to Fort Varicel, Fort Varicel, uh, all the way around Lac Sanis. And uh, had a bit of fun because there was quite a bit of water about. Made it all the way around Lake in brilliant sunshine, absolutely red hot. Uh, worked his way around to Fort which needed permission off the local mayor to be able to use a ride, to be able to ride up to. Uh, so that's something I'm going to get next time and we'll do that then, so we didn't go up to that. A stunning thing that it sat right on its own sort of column of rock. 
very dramatic. And we would have actually risked it, but there were some workmen quarrying or something. Again, there's a bit of French BDI. Oh la la! So we decided to not bother with that. And we went backwards a few uh, mile and joined the Col de Clapier, which leads down to uh, Lac de Rotterelle in Italy. The actual track consists of some nice gravelly bit, quite easy, like a forest trail really, fire trail, to let's just put these big boulders and hammer them into the floor and that'll do, it'll never wear out. And it was oh, 10 miles of bung, bung, bang, bang. And suspension on bikes are working like, like you wouldn't believe. And Jan bless her on that little van van, which is really, it's barely got suspension to cope with road. She bounced over all of them. And then it was more of the same all the way down to Italy to a place called Monsensio, which is just above Susa, quite a way over border. And that's a stunning tarmac road, which comes all the way back up to Lac Seni. Had his dinner there. Jan got the biggest sandwich. Littlest, littlest person amongst us gets the biggest sandwich. I think French thought we'll fatten her up, little shit. And as we were sat eating that, oh, oh! Did the rain roll in? You could actually see it rolling across mountain. Some nice fluffy white cloud until eventually. Because it came. So we decided, well, it's probably not going to thunder just yet. We'll do dam wall. La Barrage du Montseny. And as we're riding across there, the fog, cloud, no, it's not fog, it's cloudy that uh, high. It came rolling up valley from Italy, hitting that damn wall and coming over it top like much like a smoke machine in a disco. It was so dramatic. Brilliant to see. Met a couple of locals on little 50cc and 125cc two strokes right at the same route, pulled over and let them pass because they were pissing me off. Caught some right footage of Jan and she got sideswiped by a deepest puddle Steve went ploughing through next to her. A real gob full of French muddy water. So, here we are kids. Alpine adventure continues.